day to day over here at UCAP is come in first thing in the mornings, open the doors uh, for the kids, make sure that they get through the doors safely, saying hello to them uh, when they come in, giving everybody a fist bump. The mission of the UCAP school is basically, it's a dropout prevention uh, kind of school. Okay, it's a school for kids that for whatever reason they haven't been succeeding in the traditional public school setting. And so this is that alternative school. What makes us different from a lot of other schools is our size. Uh, sometimes you'll find kids coming from a school system that's six to 800 kids. UCAP is different. We call our teachers by the first name. Kids have the opportunity to accelerate and get back into their appropriate grade. The class size are also smaller, it's a one to 14 ratio. And it's that school that basically is a safe space for a lot of kids. And we understand that if these kids don't turn the corner, so to speak, if they're not loved, if they're not given opportunities, then they have a high potential of dropping out. Education is about being innovative. The traditional classroom model, that's gone. We have to move away from it. And I think one of the things that's very unique about our school is that we're able to give students personalized learning. We're able to provide them with the resources that they need. Our students have different abilities. So some one student may need to be in the library to get work done, and some may need to work one-on-one -on -one with a particular teacher. But because we're such a small school, we're able to provide that personalized type of learning. I got involved with UCAP because my wife and I, in our philanthropy, were interested in education. And uh, we were introduced to the school by the Rhode Island Foundation. We came over here, and I would have to say probably within 15 minutes of coming in and meeting the students and the staff of UCAP, we were so impressed that we knew immediately that we wanted to get involved. UCAP started 30 years ago, and I think it started in fairly humble, humble beginnings. But in the past 30 years, we've been able to really grow the facilities to the point now where we really have a first class building that really shows the kids that we're investing in them because we believe in them and we know that they can learn and, and we want to provide the best environment for them to learn. So my name is Alexius. Um, I am an alumni of UCAP. UCAP has helped change my life dr dramatically. Well, with the education that I got here, it helped prepare me for high school. And if it wasn't for the teachers and staff here, I honestly probably would have been a high school dropout. By the time I hit my senior year of high school, I joined the Army. Um, I was a guest speaker at UCAP's graduation the year before I graduated high school. And uh, joining the Army has definitely made me a better person. Muriel and Rob and all the teaching staff here wrote me letters while I was in basic training so I definitely stayed in contact with them while I was in basic and throughout my time in the army so they've definitely helped motivate me and keep me positive through like a lot of tough times. I think at the end of the day what UCAP is, it's an alternative school that does alternative approaches. It's a love tough school um, which means that no matter how many times a kid may make a mistake uh, we're going to love them regardless and we're going to try to help them fix that problem uh, because the the greater mission is uh, to have freedom at the end of the day. I want my kids, and we want our kids to have economic freedom, social freedom, um, and be able to uh, think critically and solve the problems that they may be confronted with. So the implications isn't just about uh, preventing these kids from dropping out, but it's a larger social context of things. So if we could be that, that bridge that can get our kids from a middle school to high school and beyond, then we're doing our job.